excited to be here working on some things. Uh, I have a, a bunch of videos that I'm just going to squish together and show you what I was working on. A lot of those products are now on my Etsy site and I've shared with them in my, my blogs. So here's the actual clips that I got from all of that work and hopefully it's some useful information that, that you can adapt for your own selves. Uh, at the end of this what I'm going to do is share some new things that are coming up in my life. There's big changes going on, so I thought might as well just go with that flow and do the same thing on Hobby Potter here. So watch the video, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you at the end. I have this abundance of <clears throat> plates and platters and forms that I've never used, that I really did want to use to, um, as like a base form when I'm hand building. So just so that I can know <clears throat> in the future, this is a 16 inch platter, I'm measuring, I'm measuring each one. You see, like that's a 10 inch. Um, this right here is probably a 10 inch. I measured on my table. Yeah, that's another 10 inch one. What's this one? This one is a 8 inch. And I'm marking them on the back so that I can just quickly grab them and say, okay, I want a small one and I want an 8 inch platter. This is 11 inch. Now, what I'm going to do after though, when I, I fire the very last kiln firing, I'm going to make a little mark on there. I'm going to write what the size ended up being so that I know what it will shrink down to when I'm done. Right now I'm trying to see what size I get from how much clay. How many inches is that? Nine inches. Almost ten inches. Nine and a half inches. So that's nine and nine and a half inches and that was a little over two and a half pounds of clay and that was two and a half pounds of clay. See what happened? There's some white in there. See the little spirals? I don't know if it'll come in clearly, but there's little spirals in it and oh, I just love that. It Okay, this, everything along this side, this very small portion, is this speckled clay, and it doesn't really turn out brown, it's kind of a beige color, and uh, I'm actually using this color glaze on, on, on things. So, this clay will turn out like that, and this piece right here, even though they kind of look the same, I can tell the difference, I don't know if the camera will show it, but um, this one right here, and everything that you see to the right of it, will turn out like this. And if you see it, it has the spirals in it and they get more defined. And it actually absorbs some of the color in the glaze and it makes it dark in, in places. So I have to be really careful um, what colors I choose. If I'm, I think I'm just gonna do them all white for now um, and keep them kind of generic, but really still stylish in my mind. I actually wanted to compare them myself and look and see what the differences are. Yeah, my brownstone wears brown, more brown. And this one, this one looks pretty when there's a color glazed over it. It's like a clear. This is actually just raw clay right here. And I do like that effect where it's raw on the outside and colored on the inside.
here is everything, all glazed. Most of them are white. I have one, two, three, four things on this table that are in my um, my blue. And uh, we'll see how that all turns out. I have some new clay here that I haven't used white on before. Okay, here it is, all loaded up, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and program it in. I'm real happy with how everything turned out here. Uh, everything is pretty much mostly white. I have a little bit of the blue in there, but we'll have to see how it all turns out, especially this one. I'm looking forward to this. And also the flat plate, uh, it's not a plate, the flat tray. It's my first time making a tray like that and it's warped. So hopefully it'll flatten out in this cone five kiln load and we'll see how it looks. solid white and I didn't want them to. Can you see inside? Okay. Now that looks like there's a mistake, but that's actually white clay. I like how these turned out. These were extra thin pieces I had from the um, pottery wheel. Oh, they turned out so cool looking. Neat. Well, that is what was happening in my studio. Let me share with you a couple things that happened that were uh, something of note. Uh, this is a great little platter. This is my first time actually creating platters. And I had some pin holes in them and I, that's why you wouldn't see them online. But that, you know what, this is a cute little thing. I'm gonna put it back in the kiln to see if I could actually, um, if I can actually fix this somehow. This one I think is charming. I just love this thing, it's so cute. But it's, the challenge with it is it's warped. And I, you know, I can't sell that warped. But, you know, it, it is charming. So I'm gonna keep it. I won't sell it online because there's too much, too much chance of somebody misunderstanding when they purchase this that it's actually warped. It sits flat, it doesn't wobble, it actually sits flat, but anyway. Uh, so let me go ahead and share with you what's coming up fresh, but right now let me show a video of, just, it's not a video, it's a slideshow. <laughs> a slideshow of what just came out of my kiln and some of the things I finished recently. And then after that is a little bit of a chat. And if you don't wanna watch that, you don't have to, but it's just sharing a little bit about what's coming up. Potter on YouTube. Uh, this year, I haven't made too many videos up to this point, but now, between now and the end of the year, I have so much I need to do in my studio. I'm going to be sharing videos weekly, uh, not really themed. So I'm going to restart my Hobby Potter Weekly for 2016. Did it in 2015 and it worked out real great, had a lot of fun with it. So this time, I'm going to be working on probably a variety of projects throughout the week. Um, I know sometimes people watch videos and go, show the results, but it's kind of hard when you're doing it in real time. I don't want to have to save videos for three weeks so I can show a compact thought all in one. So Hobby Potter Weekly will be kind of progression of the things that I'm working on. Uh, the things that I need to do that you might be seeing this summer and into the fall will be, I uh, have three 
uh, things I need to do for galleries, and that, that's all art-related, possibly a combination of hand-building and wheel-throwing. I also have some, I have two online shops I just got accepted to Amazon, so that'll, that'll be something I can do quickly and small and repetitive. And then the most important thing, my daughter, yes, she is getting married in October, and she asked me to do the, the favors for the wedding, so I'm excited about that. That's my... That's my heart one. That's the one that's really got my heart going. And uh, she told me I had to keep it real simple, which is, you know, I'll do what the bride wants. You know, you got to do that. But I had something else in mind. So it's going to be a combination of what she wants and what I want to do. So it's going to be great. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. But that's what's coming up. Come back Hobby Potter Weekly once a week. You're going to get to see videos starting next week. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.